Just also on the topic of hustle hard, I mean, you know, you're from Sydney, obviously Guns is from Sydney, and yeah. debatably the biggest artist in Oz rap at the moment, chilling it. He's from Sydney as well. And yeah. I think, was it around the time that you were on Hustle Hard, he was on there Just as before. well? Just, Just before. before. Okay, but you guys didn't meet like at that point in time? We had like mutual friends because our areas are kind of within 20 minutes of each other, half an hour of each other. Um, so we had actually mutual friends because we're around the same age. Um, but yeah, no, nah. no. Nah. Okay. So although you never met though, you were familiar with the music that was coming out at that time. Somewhat. I actually think he'd sort of gone on maybe a hiatus at the time. I think he kind of ah, slowed down. I think okay. he, he was sort of on the way to slowing down. At that point, because a lot of people were saying, yeah, like link up type of thing. But I, I don't think, I think he was starting to slow down. Yeah. So I guess if he was starting to slow down at that point, you wouldn't have been able to see or guess that he would have blown up, you know, to the stature that he has now. Then no, but when he was coming back, yeah. So back, but back then, no, because when 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 he stopped, I thought he was done. I thought he was finished with music, from what I'd heard. But then when he's come back, you ca you caught on pretty quick that like, yep, this dude's gonna. Well, yeah, well, well sort of like we we'd actually we we had actually spoken um, before before the comeback that you would remember probably 12 months before that when he was sort of entertaining the idea and we'd sort of spoken then, um, you know, and like I said, we had sort of a mutual friend and he actually knew the guy from the Southwest Entertainment. So there was all that sort of stuff. Um, but then again, when he came back, he came back and he was doing tracks with some, again, mutual friends. Um, and I was kind of doing my own thing, but the way that I sort of saw him just, constantly putting out content and just sort of trying to grab you know sort of every opportunity like I was really hungry for it type of thing like I kind of just watched it sort of just keep going like this all the way up you know so you, you could you could see it coming you could see that he wanted it that's what you could see is that he really wanted it and so I suppose you know if you want something bad enough you, you, you watch it you manifest it it happens and then I guess if you look at you know where his career is um, now you know, as someone who does music, who's from the same part of Australia, etc. Yeah. What do you think is or are some of the reasons why the audience has gravitated to him, you know, so much? Um, that's a tough question. I mean... The lane was so because the lane was open by it, it's it's weird right because his style is different to your sort of curses and all that sort of stuff right so his style is a bit different but the lane was kind of open by them for everyone not on the mainstream side to be listened to so um, and and in and my personal belief is that no matter uh, who you are where you're from whatever you are if if you can spit like if you can rap and you can and you can rap well there's always a place for you somewhere. So I think, you know, with his sort of stuff, it was kind of like, you know, people were probably listening to the, the bars and stuff and going, oh, okay, you know, like this is, this is cool. This is, we haven't, you know, heard this from a younger guy in a while or whatever it was. And then they were sort of gravitated towards that. And then of course, obviously you've got the, he's got that, that cultural, that 420 thing going on as well, which is obviously a big, you know, a big thing too. There's that sort of, I guess, um, family sort of aspect of it you know what i mean like people want to feel included in music so i think that that was probably a part of it too i personally think he's one of the best spitters in the country when it comes to putting songs together you know albums okay. etc do you hold him in the same sort of regard as as an mc or there's a lot of other people in australia that you would put above him as a as a lyricist See, I'm the bad, I'm the worst person to ask that question to because, it, like, I do not follow the hip hop over here at all, right? So, like, if you said, you know, who's one of your favorite MCs over here, straight out solo from Horror Show, 
you know what I mean? Um, like that's I'm on I'm on that sort of vibe, but that's from things that I remembered way back. You know what I mean? So, and if people put music out now, I listen to the boys put their music out. But if you like ask me, could he go up against someone? I haven't heard all the albums that are out there, so it's like I don't want to say something controversial and say yeah or no. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah, I, no, I couldn't no. tell you. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, but obviously, 100%. like you know, if if you you got to be up there. If, if you're up there, you've got to be up there, right? Yeah, yeah, like, 100%. You know, but you're saying but you're saying lyricists. Like, you don't have to be even in the top 10 lyricists to be one of the top five rappers in the country. Like, you've just got to be, you know, that hard. You've got to be able to... Because you could just make songs that reach people, bro. You don't have to be having crazy bars. So, it's, it's a hard question to answer because I think if I said sort of yes or no, people would associate that with, okay, but does that mean this person's not near there when that's not the case? You know what I mean? And again, I don't know the catalogue of what's out there. So people will shoot me in the comments. <laughs> I don't know. The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.